Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. So far, 10 problems I have completed on computing the income from salary. Now in this video, 11th problem I'm going to explain. So see the problem, watch the problem carefully till the end. Now, before starting the 11th problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I've given in the link under my description. Take the screenshot of the points of 11th problem, then I'll explain every point. Now, the following is, are the income particulars of Sri Devi Mohan for the previous year ending 31st March 2022. So, net salary received 6,47,250. This is the net salary received after making the deductions. What are the deductions? Deductions from salary, contribution to CM relief fund 100% deduction 1000, premium on group insurance scheme 1200, income tax TDS 26,000. Then LIP, life insurance premium on own policy, 22,000. LIP on wife's policy, 10,900. Standard deduction, 50,000. Professional tax, 3,600. RPF contribution, 30,250. And recovery of vehicle loan, 77,000. The total deductions made by the employer, 2,21,950. Actually, for computing the income from salary, we need the gross salary not the net salary. So whatever deductions are made, we add back those deductions to the net salary. The so net salary is 647,250. To 647,250, we add back the total deductions, 221,950. So in working notes, we will write down. So calculating entertainment allowance, total salary, salary received is 647,250. Given the problem. To this, we add all the deductions made by the employer. How much deductions? 221,950. Add up 8,69,200. This is the total gross salary. Now, see the problem. Employer's contribution to RPF is 15% of salary. Basic pay 363,000. So, in this total salary, the basic salary is 363,000. So deduct 3,63,000, you'll get 5,6200. After deducting basic pay, the remaining amount is 5,6200. Now, interest credited in RP of 10.5%, 24,500. Salary received includes DA at a flat rate of 11,000 per month, HRA 13,750 per month, and the remaining is entertainment allowance. Now see, from the total gross salary, we have the basic pay and three allowances. The three allowances are dearness allowance, house rent allowance and entertainment allowance. In which DA and HRA are given. Entertainment allowance is not given. And it is we have to find out the entertainment allowance. And the remaining balance is entertainment allowance. He is living in his father's house for which no rent is paid. When he is living in a house for which there is no rent, so no HRA exemption will be allowed. Actual HRA received is fully taxable. Now again, coming back to the problem. Here total salary, salary received is 647,250. We have added the deductions. Total, from total, deduct the basic pay. Basic pay 363,000. So remaining 5,6200 ,06 in which three allowances are there. Two allowances are given. The dearness allowance 11,000 per month into 12, given in the problem, 1,32,000, deduct. Then HRA is given 13,750 per month into 12, 1,65,000. So remaining amount is the entertainment allowance. So in the problem, the amount of entertainment allowance not given, we have calculated here. Right? Now, employer's contribution to RPF. In the problem, it is given that employer is contributing 15%. But Income Tax Act says employer's contribution to RPF is exempted up to 12% of salary. Up to 12% exempted. Direct 12. So 3% is taxable. So taxable amount is 3% of basic. How much is the basic? 3,63,000. So 10,890. So in the computation, basic salary 3,63,000 given in the problem. Then 
employer's contribution to RPF in excess of 12% of salary. Here we have calculated 10,890. Then interest. Interest credited to RPF. It is given in the problem. Interest credited to RPF is 10.5% rupees 24,500. Income Tax Act says interest credited to RPF is exempted up to the rate of 9.5%. The excess will be taxable. So here interest on RPF actual rate 10.5 given in the problem. Exempted rate given by Income Tax Act 9.5. So 10.5 minus 9.5 1% is taxable. 1% is taxable rate not exempted it is taxable rate. Now, at 10.5% rate, the amount of interest is 24,500 given in the problem. At what rate? 10.5. What is the taxable percentage? 1%. Taxable rate is 1%. So, at 10.5% amount is 24,500. At 1% how much? So, 1 divided by 10.5 into 24,500, you will get 2,333. This is the taxable amount of interest that is taxable under the salary. So interest created it for RPF in excess of 9.5% rate, 2,333. Got it? Now allowances. Allowances, dearness allowance is given in the problem 11,000 per month into 12, 1,32,000. HRA is given in the problem 13,750 into 12, 1,65,000. Fully taxable. HRA exemption under section 1013A is not allowed. Because the SSC is living in his own house for which there is no rent and entertainment allowance we have calculated EA 2,9200 2,9200 all allowances we have taken now see the problem he is provided with a motor car of 1.75 liters for personal and official use and employer pays all the expenses Motor car is a taxable perquisite for specified employees. Here the SSC is a specified employee because his salary income is more than 50,000. So motor car given is taxable. 1.75 liter means it's a big car. In the theory video I have explained you up to 1.6. Up to 1.6 liters it's a small car. Over 1.6 liter it's a big car. The so engine power if it is more than 1.6 big car so in our problem it is a big car a big car is given by the employer to the employee for both personal and official use and all expenses are paid by employer in that case the value of the perquisite is 2400 per month into 12 so here i have given in working note Motor car, the engine capacity of the car is more than 1.6 liters. Hence, car will be categorized as big car. It is used partly for official and partly for personal. And all expenses are paid by the employer. Hence, the value of the purchase is 2,400 per month. So, 2,400 per month into 12, you will get 28,800. The value of motor car per visit is 28,800. That's all. We don't have any other item. Take the total, the gross salary is 9,11,223. That is the gross income from salary. From that, deductions under section 16, standard deduction under section 16, 1A, least of the following two, gross income from salary or 50,000, whichever is least, 50,000. EA deduction will not be allowed because the SSC is a non-government employee. Only for government employee, EA deduction is available. Here, non-government, no EA deduction. Professional tax paid. In the deductions, you can see, professional tax is paid 3,600. 3,600 professional tax paid. Income tax act says, if professional tax paid is there, it will be allowed as deduction. It will be allowed as deduction. Whether it is paid by employer or employee, if it is paid, it will be allowed as deduction. 3,600. So total 53,600. Deduct 53,600. 857,623. This is the income from salary. House rent exemption is not allowed because the SSC is living in his own house. That's all. 
So this is the end of problem number 11.